Good morning, everyone. Here we are back at, you might recognize the uh, Mournsville. The public toilets. The public toilets of the Mournsville Tea Rooms. Uh, we're starting uh, our next walk on the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal. So two significant things. One, this is the original starting point for our first walk. Mm -hmm. Only we're gonna go in the other direction towards Taunton. And the other great news is that we're gonna be joined, we are being, we have been joined, by our great friends, Mark and Catherine, who you'll recognize from our road vlogs from the Frog. So, uh, from their boat double O. From their boat double O. Which we cruised with them for several weeks on the yeah. Leeds and Liverpool and various other And we routes. did a great cruise into in London and also a cruise to Bristol. So, so we're, we're on, about to set off on this, this lovely is, sunny day. This and this is Catherine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for Mark. And there's the dogs, let's show them the dogs. How can I show them the dogs? Terrible film. <laughs> right. You might recognise so, Stan. We're setting off on this beautiful sunny day. So this map puts our walk into context today. We're only going about 2.7, 2.8 miles, heading down from the Mournsville Tea Room uh, and uh, finishing at a tiny hamlet called Charlton. You may remember from our first Bridgewater and Taunton Canal video that the towpath is festooned with the Somerset Spacewalk. Because these stones representing the planet have been placed to scale to the real solar system, it is not surprising that after Mons or Locke, Mars, Earth, Venus and Mercury are very close together. The higher lock near Monsel is the middle of the canal and the centre of our solar system and it's here that we find the Sun. The stones representing the planets are then repeated, moving away from Higher Monsel towards Taunton. The lock-in is actually part of the Somerset Boat Centre. It's a family-owned business that offers canoes, kayaks, self-drive motorboats and chartered narrowboats, as well as some really nice food. They're passionate about the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal and I really recommend it as a stop-off if you're ever passing. Black Hut Bridge is an example of what's called an accommodation bridge, built solely for farmers to access land that would otherwise have been cut off by the canal. Like many of the other accommodation bridges on the canal, it was probably originally a swing bridge. In order to improve navigation, in the restoration that took place during the late 80s and early 90s, these swing bridges were removed and instead solid bridges 
were put in place, they have a clearance of eight feet, which is enough for narrowboaters to pass underneath. So it's ironic that the only traffic we really see on the canal today are kayakers and paddleboarders. If you left the canal at the Glastonbury Road Bridge, you could walk up the A361 and soon be in the village of Durston. Durston is significant as from this point north, the canal was cut into the original subsoil, which is clay and required no additional waterproofing. If you've watched many of the vlogs from the Frog, you may remember that where there's a canal, a railway is often not far away. The same is true of the Bridgewater and Taunton. Along this stretch of the canal from here down to Taunton, the River Tone is never far away. And what we're looking at here beyond the railway line is the floodplain for the river itself. Cooling down. No, he ran off his guts. Normally he just chases the mix. But I don't think he meant to go in. I think he thought it was solid. 